This is Tom Fox. I'd like to welcome you to the Compliance Week 2022 podcast series. Compliance Week is thrilled to be back 100% live and in person after three years apart. Back for its 17th year at Compliance Week National 2022, compliance, ethics, legal, and audit professionals will gain insights and make connections at the industry's premier cross-industry national compliance event, offering knowledge-packed, accredited sessions, and take-home advice from the most influential leaders in the compliance community. In this podcast series, we will detail some of the speakers and what they will be discussing at the event and why they are attending Compliance Week 2022. I hope you will join me in attending this conference and particularly this year when it's literally the first major compliance conference which will be held live since the pandemic began. We link to the conference in the show notes and listeners to this podcast get a special discount which is also listed in the show notes i hope to see you in may at compliance week 2022this episode i visit with christy grant hart of spark consulting we talk about her panel presentation on navigating the global regulatory environment it's a workshop, not a panel, and it'll be a great three-hour learning session for you. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, back for another episode, and today I have with me my good friend and colleague, Christy Grant Hart. Christy will be speaking at Compliance Week 2022 on the panel of Deep Dive, Navigating the Global, Global Regulatory environment. So Christy, first of all, welcome and uh, thank you so much for taking the time to visit with me today. I am always delighted to be with you, Tom. Thanks. Uh, Christy, typically I ask someone what their role is, but I think everyone knows your role uh, is at Spark Consulting. So I thought I'm going to ask, Spark Consulting is current, uh, rather is always evolving. So uh, could you tell us maybe uh, a thing or two about what you guys currently have going on? Oh, wow. Uh, Yeah, we're we're definitely evolving. We're doing a huge number of our compliance competitor training games and are uh, creating more videos and more e-learning content, um, which is really a new direction that we're going in. Uh, It kind of has evolved from putting out the business simulation software game and people are coming to us with more and more of those types of requests. So I think that's a big part of, of where we're going. And also the sort of great bread and butter activity, program reviews, risk assessment, policy drafting, all the things that you would expect um, and of course, recently back to the addition of some in-person training and also uh, for me, some in-person speaking, which is something that hasn't happened in two years. And getting back on that stage for the big keynote is it's an adrenaline rush. It's exciting. Uh, well, we're greatly looking forward to seeing you at Compliance Week 2022. Could you uh, give us a hint of the things you hope to bring to the panel? I am genuinely excited about what we're doing. We, you know, when we looked at it, we said, we have how many hours? Oh my, what are we going to do for three hours? That's a really long time to keep people entertained. Uh, but we are really trying to take that approach. So we've got breakout sessions where people can choose the topics that they want to talk about and have separate sessions with each of us about whether you want to talk about these big global problems, right? What are you doing with privacy, with ESG? What are you dealing with when it comes to communications and training to make them global? Uh, We've got whiteboard sessions. We've got fireside pieces. We've got really interactive uh, series of topics so that people really come away with not only hearing from the four of us, um, from me and my my colleagues, but from each other. And I think that's going to make it really stand out, that this is a place where it's moving, it's entertaining, it's interesting. There's different ways of approaching the topic, but you really come out with four different expert sentiments about each one and also the knowledge of what your peers are doing, which I think is why workshops are so powerful. Christy, I'd like to focus on one component of the workshop, and it's around culture, and it's culture of an international organization. Culture is something that you have literally on a daily basis, cultural differences, because you're married to an Englishman. I'm married to an English woman, so I have some appreciation of that. But And you've worked in England and literally across the globe how do you really coach an American-based company and an American-based uh, C uh, compliance team 
to uh, uh, not simply honor the different cultures they may have in their uh, workforce, but uh, really uh, get them all on the same page from a compliance perspective? I think the most important thing to tell people is to listen. Um, I think that there is a whole lot of not listening that goes on and a lot of, particularly in compliance, because we're used to essentially dictating what people are supposed to do. Um, that's really part of our role. But we really need to listen and hear. Um, the kind of things that I think are make people heard can be really small, making sure that they get the right size paper. Or if you're sending things in A4 instead of in letter, that really makes a difference. If you use their spelling, the English spelling of words, right, with the O's and the U's and the <laughs> color with a U, that type of thing, it can make it feel very much more personal and like you're paying attention. So I think that the first thing is simply to be listening. And the second thing is to pay attention. And where you can make those little shifts, I think people feel heard when you do that. And that makes them warmer toward you as well. Christy, I'd now like to turn to uh, a question that's become my favorite because it's put a smile on everyone's face, which is what are you looking forward most to at Compliance Week 2022? I'm just looking forward to seeing my friends. <laughs> it's the most wonderful industry because it's not just my colleagues. It's not just employees. It's not people that are clients. It's, it's so much more than that. It's really friends. And I think that you know, last year, the first conference I went to was the SCCE conference in Las Vegas and hadn't seen anyone really in person at all at that point for two years. And the delight, the joy was so palpable just from being around the people that you love. So I am really excited to see the people that are coming to Compliance Week. It's usually a very, a fairly different audience, fairly different group of people. And uh, that's going to be super exciting, especially to see you. It's going to be great. Uh, I've told people that I think we'll have the biggest collective group hug in compliance on uh, Monday the 16th, so I'm greatly looking forward to that. Christy, unfortunately, we're near the end of our time for this episode, but I wanted to thank you for taking the time to visit with us today, and I can't wait to see you on the 16th. Going to be great. This is Tom Fox again. I hope you'll plan to join me at Compliance Week 2022. Registration information is found in the show notes. And of course, there's a discount code for listeners to this podcast that I've listed in the show notes as well. It's going to be a great conference. We're all going to be able to get together in a full conference for the first time since the pandemic began. I hope you will plan to join me and all of your fellow compliance professionals at Compliance Week 2022.